Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Dark Souls. My name is Alex, I am Silvermont. What's your name? Oh no, 60 FPS. Well, last time we did um, the Painted World of Ariandel. Today we're going to head down to the most aesthetically pleasing area in the game, to me. That aesthetically... Aesthetically. Why can I not speak? I don't know. It's a slight problem, but we'll make do. Mm. I probably could have started a bit closer, but... Whatever. I suppose... Now I need to fill some time whilst I run through Blight Town, don't I? Um, well, actually, you know what? I guess I can give a quick shout-out, which... I don't really do that, do I? Not often, but, um... Yeah, a shout-out to Estes half Fool, who's been very helpful in the last few weeks and months with various channel related things so thanks man I appreciate it oh I don't appreciate this poison though oh, I wonder let's see it's probably around end of October this is coming up now isn't it maybe November oh, I would... no. No luck. Yeah, I don't think you have anything useful for me lady Shiva of the East would be down here had we joined the Forest Covenant. I don't really think... You know, I might do that, but we'll see. I'm actually not in a Covenant at the moment either. Um, ew, I'm not pleased to be back in Blight Town, but hey. We do what you've got to do, right? Lovely blue skies up there, and there's the big tree which we can see from Firelink Shrine. Uh, I guess whilst I'm on the subject of shoutouts, hi Kate. And now, have I remembered to repair my stuff? Yeah, we're fine. These guys can drop shards, pretty nice. Is there a ring of full protection in this game? If there is, I'm pretty sure I don't have it. Mm, whatever. Ha! Oh. Ha! Gives me that. You fool. Oh, there goes my phone behind me. Oh, you. You're no hollow, eh? Excellent. Great Hollow. I guess you are a Hollow then. A. Eh? I don't like this poison. Let's remove it. There goes someone. Now, we're not going to spend too long in the Great Hollow because every second that passes increases, like, doubles the chance of me falling to my doom. Which is not a good time, but... Isn't there going to be an item there? I'm sure you can drop down there. From here, maybe? Not from there. Yeah, I... Platforming, not my strong point. There we go. This is the Chloranthi Ring? Yeah. Um, I'm sure full protection is in this game, I just don't think there's a ring of full protection. I might be mistaken though. I'm pretty sure there's a sorcery for that. Oh god. God damn it. Oh my god. Seriously. <sighs> well, I got a pretty sick slide. Should I even go back? Because my blood stain is down there. Yeah. 
I don't think there's I got really many souls in it though, so. But I had three humanity, so. Okay, you know what? Screw you. Oh boy. What a fun time. Yeah, Great Hollow in 60 FPS doesn't feel like it's going to be too good. But there are treasures in here, but honestly, I'm, I'll pick up what I see, but I'm not going to go crazy because uh, we don't really need any of this stuff. That was a pretty sick Oh, God. It was a pretty sick slide I did, though. It's a shame you have to do all this to get to Ash Lake. Ash Lake is cool. This place is not cool at all. It's not cool at all. Ugh. Can you imagine what it would be like if the Souls games had, like, um... <sighs> yeah, can you imagine what it would be like if the Souls games had, um... Like, the ability to grab ledges and stuff? Wouldn't that be sweet? Or just something to stop you sliding off. Because, oh, the platforming in this game is just one of the absolute worst things. And it's something, when you're going through the game for the first time, you're not probably going to mind it too much, because the game is just so good. And yes, it is an amazing game. But it's like, um... Once you've played through the game many times, you start to just... If you're me, abhor anything involving platforming, especially when the physics are going a bit deranged, a bit duality. Like this. Well, oh. screw it. I think I'm gonna have to die again now unless I can somehow jump all the way over there. Oh, there's a ladder here. Never mind. Oh good. Well, we're almost through at least. Yeah, this is one of those places where full control would be super nice. It's also probably the only place full control would be really that handy. Because it's one of those kind of gimmicky things. Oh. Oh no. Phew. Oh. <laughs> he really wanted to come down here, didn't he? Yeah, you can get... I think there's like a red chunk on some branch here, but... Uh, there's a... Quite a lot of treasure in here, but nothing super important, I think. Down here, however, we have some interesting enemies. And yes, I know in the last episode I missed some items in um, the Painted World. For example, I forgot to go up the like sort of spiral staircase and get the um, red soapstone. Doesn't really matter too much, though, you know. And we are about at the bottom now. There are faster ways by just like rolling off and hopping and landing on stuff. But I figured I would go the more kind of normal way. Oh wow, that was actually pretty close. I should have been more careful there. And the mushroom men. Hi. Oh no. Oh jeez, that was terrible. How will you like this, you tiny men? How is this happening? Oh no, this is ter Why are the men so tiny? 
I'm gonna die now. This is terrible. Oh my god. What? Why? Please move. At least this isn't New Game Plus or they'd be one-shotting me. Seriously, dude. This is absolute garbage. What? I just genuinely can't believe any of that crap happened. Bloody mushroom men? Suddenly, like, I've never been trapped by mushroom men in a corner. But I'm very unhappy about all of that. So you're, right, you're gonna get killed just because... Absolutely screw you. Mushrooms. You don't get to survive this. I have a deep and burning hatred for you. And this is not a great place to be fighting them thanks to this tiny wall, but hey. I don't give a damn, I just want to kill them. I like, didn't attack them, they attacked me. They were the aggressors in the situation. I'm just defending my rights and avenging my own life. Stupid mushrooms. Yeah? All of this could have been avoided if you hadn't hassled me. I'm gonna roll all over your bodies. Stupid mushrooms. Get up! No way! Read. Bastards. But now, finally, we're at Ash Lake. What a sight. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot about that glitch. I love this area. Hydra. My father. Oh, hello, man. Things are good. You will cause no more trouble. It's finally over. I will return to Katerina. You assisted us most greatly. I can hardly return the favour, but please accept this. It's of no use to me now. Poor Onion Knight. And that is the end of his quest line. And the end of Lin's. She, I believe, is still human, so she's now going to return to uh, Katarina. Interesting that her claymore's poking out. But, we have something to do here in Ash Lake. Which YouTube captions is probably doing it as Ashley. I remember that from before. It's not a very big area. Not an important area. Well, maybe from a lore perspective it's important. We're going to fight this thing. 
try anyway. I don't really remember exactly how to fight it. Probably the same as the other one, but I believe this one's called the Arch Hydra. That really hurt. What was that? He's so close, it's kind of hard to tell when he's actually attacking. Oh, see, that time I did try and roll, but... Oh, no, he's... His head can pull me into the water, which is not a good time at all. Take a swing. This time. Oh, I rolled right into one. Damn, Hydra. It's the opposite of Hail Hydra. Do it. This Hydra is also has a jet plane function, which I should probably try and show actually. Actually, yeah, let's try and show the jet plane function it has once my buff runs out, which will be momentarily. Oh, I didn't mean to roll, what the hell? I don't think I actually rolled then, but yeah. Oh. Oh, I'm not going to pass up a free opportunity. Oh, he's really low now, too good. I'll take that, that dragon scale, and do it. Show us why you are so beautiful. Become the Hydra you were meant to be. Come on, we don't have all day. I know it's somewhere over here he does it. Here we go. <laughs> Have you ever seen a more beautiful animation than that? Yes. Very possibly, you have. Oh wow, that one took me back. Damn range. Oh, I missed. No, oh, your face is too big. I got him that time. Why does my character keep rolling when I'm not pressing the roll button? That's very strange. Oh, I really thought he was dead. Now he is. Oh! Bitch! Gosh, you're rude. I wish the Hydra had bombed him. But yeah, what's this? You might be wondering. Good question, it's... Is it a giant? I mean, it's... Is it a helmet? It really doesn't match anything we know. Some primordial creature that we know not what it is. And there's an, uh, an item over here. I'm going to try not to fall into the water. <sighs> that was really close. God, th that is just weirdly terrifying, that 
I don't, oh, I don't know what it is. Like, I know some people do find deep bodies of water quite scary. Not really something that does anything to me, but for some reason just this specific part is just really creepy to me. I don't know why. It's, I don't know, that's one of the reasons I really just love how this area looks. It's, um... Like, the sky, all this stuff is, like, really beautiful. Then you just have this, like, black, bottomless water. This lake... Some people believe each of these trees represents its own version of Lordran, this being ours. And that is how they explain the like parallel worlds thing. You know, when Soleil was like, who knows how long our worlds will stay together and stuff. But whatever the case is, it's such an ethereal area. Dragon scale. Um, and there is somewhere here we can get in this tree. And not really, there is not much for me in any video game that's ever matched finding this area. I mean, that's what you want in like a quote open world game, isn't it? You want to find things like this. Maybe it's the other tree I'm thinking about you can get inside. Probably is. Just rest at the bonfire quickly. Alright. Isn't that a sad sight? I could actually make a wallpaper out of this. Come to think of it, I'm going to real quick. Maybe I'll link it in the description if I remember. Here we go. For a long time, I had my wallpaper as um, a bit from Dark Souls 2. Just the Medulla bonfire with uh, the Emerald Herald sitting next to it. I might make that again, actually. Because last time, I think I did it on my like 360 or something, so the resolution was really not great. Or it might have been on my PC, but... Either way, I have a 1440p or 2k, whatever you want to call it, monitor now. So, I can make higher resolution stuff. And I apply some slight pro post-processing to it. Is it this tree or was it that tree? Hmm, well, we'll find out. There are some Havel-themed items down here, curiously enough. Imagine, like, making a game and knowing that so few people would ever find this area by themselves. Of course, I think, I suppose with Dark Souls, it came out and the, the internet was a thing and, you know, everyone tells each other these things, which is intentional, of course, and I believe they said that at some point. They said, uh, we want Dark Souls to be a game where, like, people would sit around the bonfire and tell people tell each other stories and stuff like oh did you know if you if you go back to the asylum you can get an item that lets you go into a secret painted world and there's a hidden lake beneath the game world and you know stuff like that it's I, I really like things like that myself I think it's really fun I like it when games do stuff like that I recently installed Skyrim again and I really want to like Skyrim you know I really do but this is where I came from isn't it or, or is it no I came from up there can I backstab these things maybe it's only the baby ones but um <laughs> ow don't make me kill you. 
Hmm. Yeah, I really want to like Skyrim. It's just... I, d I just can't get into the gameplay of it. This is, the melee is just so... Ugh, and it's like, oh, I want to swap white weapons. I got to do this and that. Isn't there a hidden wall somewhere here? Oh, wait. No, no. I just drop down, don't I? I have to drop. Yeah, here we go. But, I don't know. I Maybe I'll try, like, more magic this time. This time I made a Dunma, like a Dark Elf. Every other time I've just made a Nord and gone for two-handed weapons, because that's, like, what I would usually do in a game, but... I made a Dunma. I, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but hey. I made a Dark Elf. Maybe I'll go for, like, archery and magic. I don't know if you can make, like, enchanted arrows, but that would be pretty cool. And, uh, got some mods. Pretty much just, like, graphical mods. And, like, immersion mods, like, uh, improving the interior lighting and stuff like that. There's a lot of combat mods, but none of them I've tried have actually, you know, done anything. Because it's such a fundamental system, like, I don't think a mod could fix the combat. I wish it could. I wish I could just mod in Dragon's Dogma combat or something like that. But, I don't know. Co-op would probably make it a lot more enjoyable too. Maybe the next Elder Scrolls. Who knows. But, and here we have the, uh, the inspiration for my old channel banner. <laughs> Which might be updated actually by the time you're watching this, I'm not sure, but... This is more or less what my old banner was. Actually, you know what? You know what I'm gonna do? Because this will probably be in a lore video. Let's go for... Immersion and... RP. Curiously, this dragon counts as a bonfire keeper. I'm not sure why, but hey. And, yep, if I just stand here, this is pretty much my banner. Oh, I'm missing Dark Moon Blade, but hey. Pray to the everlasting dragons. But first up. He's completely fine with that. He's like, um, okay. I'll just throw another one, I guess. Sure, I guess. Now we could turn into a dragon. Oh, we're not going to. That, I believe, is everything of Ash Lake. The miracle we picked up is Havel's miracle. I don't think we can level up, because we're pretty high. So let's head back to Filing Shrine. Because you know what I forgot to do? And kept forgetting... She does get another dialogue at some point, but that, okay, let's get a better view. That tree is the Great Hollow, so we went down that and then ended up in Ash Lake. I guess, I mean, I can't tell if that is supposed to be land, all this stuff, but Ash Lake is down there. Hmm. Oh, hello there. As always. Why? I see. 
Goodbye. Don't you dare go hollow. Oh, hello. Terrific. And I think that about does it. Thank you so much for watching. Next time, I believe we'll be kicking off the DLC. Until then, thank you so much for watching. Have a good, well, have a good day. Have a good evening. Have a good everything. <laughs> Goodbye.